Hi everyone, it's Rosella. I'm here today with a rather different video for me. This is actually a haul video um, and a somewhat unusual one. The town where I live holds a rummage sale every year and it is enormous. Um, it takes up the entire building and two parking lots and part of the athletic field of, an, of a middle school and um, yeah well you have to experience it, it it's insane and um, volunteers work for weeks prepping and and for I think two weeks actually at the school before the sale and it's crazy and then the sale only goes on for six hours and then by the end of the day and the sale was today actually by the end of the day everything's cleared up and they're out of there anyway so I um, did buy just a few things at the rummage sale this year for the first time ever I actually volunteered and I was able to get in and buy stuff that I wanted on Thursday rather than having to wait till Saturday so this is my big pile of ribbons that I purchased and all of these were in like separate little baggies um, and I know a lot of them are just like the you know chibi ribbons basic really inexpensive ones. I even have ones that are the narrow ones like this and um, even a few that are that narrow. But the deal, this is great for me because I use these kinds of ribbons all the time for helping me to wrap my packages that I ship out. So I'm always on the lookout for really cheap deals on Pretty Ribbon. So that was great um, and I'll show you some of my like favorite purchases. This is a um, this is vintage and it is sort of a um, what I would call a ballerina pink and it's called let's see what it says there novelty lingerie ribbon and you can tell it's pretty old <laughs> um, and it's super pretty and made in Switzerland too I got a bunch of these with this sort of um, interesting edging on it I thought that was really cute ah. Oh, I wish I'd got more of this in my packages, but this was just one piece. But it's cute, isn't it? Um, as you can see, I mean, I've got a ton of colors here, all different colors. Oh, I got some ombre ribbons. And a lot of these are just small pieces. This one here is about just probably 14 inches, 12 to 14 inches. But again, for me, for what I need them for, that's just fine. This is um, wired ombre. That's The other one was too. This is a super pretty one, sort of purplish to green. Um, oh, I have some um, black with gold on the edges. I thought that was really pretty. I also have white with gold on the edge and it does go over there a bit more too, see? So, um, yeah, I was like really, really happy with this, with my, with my um, purchase here. Oh, this is cool too. This is a bunch of uh, one yard pieces of just a very pretty satin pretty colored satin ribbon. Anyway, <laughs> I got all of this for one, uh, less than two dollars. <laughs> and this will keep me in ribbon for packages for a long, long time. Oh, that one's actually cord there. So yeah, less than two bucks for all of this. I was um, pretty happy about that. I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to show you my lace and fancy ribbon and trim haul. Okay, so this time I'm going to sort of just, whoops, sorry, I just dropped something. I'm going to bring things into the video, into the frame this time. Um, I got all these different um, little flowers. And that's just one of those little bunches. And then tons of the little tiny um, roses. And there's ones that are just dark red. Those are really pretty. Anyway, um... Most of these were a nickel for a bag. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you can't really go wrong at a nickel a bag, can you? So, um, yeah, that was, I was pretty happy about that. Then, um, and everything else that I, I'll show you, I, I paid uh, maybe $40 for every single thing I purchased. And there's going to be stuff I'm not even going to show you because it's like not particularly crafting related but I got some really pretty ribbons too I love embroidered ribbon um, and I got all oh, those are the same okay I got several different kinds oh isn't that pretty love that one there's one with hearts on it this is a really pretty one too as you can see I haven't even undone anything yet um, 
And most of these, there were several in a bag, um, and the bag was like between 10 cents and a quarter. This one I have had in the past, and the exact same trim, and I really liked it, and I was completely out of it, so now I have some more, so that's kind of awesome. Um, oh, I'll also show you too. I was, um, I ended up being in charge of the craft section. These laces and ribbons, that was all in the fabric section, but I did the pricing and setting up for the craft section. And, um, I didn't buy myself very much, but I did buy this and this. I have no idea if this will cut fabric, and it probably won't, but I don't have circle punches in good sizes for trying to make flowers at all, so I, I bought those myself for me, I mean, um, and they were, I, I priced them at $2 each, so I paid $2 each for those. There's a funky trim there. I had a few stamps. We had tons of stamps, and um, most of them were priced between, oh, can you see that one? It says, forget-me-not. Uh, forget-me-nots are my favorite flower, so I thought that was really cute. Uh, most of them are priced, I priced them between, like, almost nothing and there were a couple that were two dollars really big brand new ones that's a rose that I want to use because um, you know I call my business rose petals that's just a note and some of these are brand new that one doesn't look like it has ever been used this one too Isn't that cute little birdhouse anyway um, so yeah I got to um, look through all the crafting supplies and pick out whatever I wanted which was kinda cool okay now among all these other things, I do have a lot of, well, not a lot, but quite a few antique pieces. This is um, definitely handmade. It is the most delicate, lightweight doily I have ever seen in my life, and it is just darling. Don't you love it? I'm not a doily person, but that is just gorgeous. Then I got some of these, some beaded trim. Oh, look at this. Hang on one sec. <coughs> Boys, stop it. Sorry, I, I'm having a real problem right now with, with coughing. And then there's somebody running by on the street, and so the dogs are barking at the runner. Isn't that lovely? I absolutely adore this. And there's quite a bit of it, too. Almost a yard of that. And um, nothing, of the tr nothing that I'm going to show you was more than, um, oh, I don't know, a dollar or so. Most of it was a lot less. Isn't that pretty? Um, lots and lots of laces. Most of them are very small pieces, but a few were bigger. That's pretty, and there's a couple of yards of that one. This is another a trim that I've had before. See how it's two colors? And I was really happy to get that one before. That's another one that I was had got uh, had given away all of it or sold all of it. That's pretty, isn't it? For an eyelet that's super pretty oh love this love 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 isn't that darling oh it's gorgeous um this here there's i haven't unrolled it i think there's a couple of yards there i am very very tempted to actually try to attach this to a cream color pillowcase because it's beautiful and i would have to sew it by hand and I'm really bad at sewing, so I'd have to really go slowly, but I just love it. And it's uh, satin fabric. Let's see. I, I'm trying to save sort of the best pieces for last. I have a piece of that. Um, oh, I have this. I haven't even opened this bag yet. Let's see how much. Oh, the price isn't on there. I think this was 10 cents. But isn't that cool? I like that. I think that's fun. So I'll probably be you're pricing putting some of this in kits. Um, oh, look at these. Tell me these aren't just darling. <gasps> and see how they're they're like transparent. Um, definitely very old. This was a set of eight, but I actually had to get rid of one. It had such a bad stain on it. There is some staining on the seven that remain. Um, you know, some regular age staining, but oh, I think they're just darling. Uh, let's see what else I have here. And then in a similar vein, there's seven of these, which are also just so pretty, delicate. Those are really sweet. Um, I like this. It's just a piece of eyelet edge fabric, but it's a really pretty pattern, that one. Um, let's see what else. Oh, there's some more of that, a bigger piece of this, like, 
pleated eyelet. I have another, um, what's it called, doily. This is more of an ordinary one. This is so pretty. Oh man, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Love that. There's only about maybe two feet of it. I wish there was more. Then we have, see a lot of, a lot of this is just little bits and pieces. I thought that was just stunning. Don't you think so? Uh, definitely quite old. Um, unfortunately, this is what happens at this end, but it kind of makes sense to cut it apart, I think, actually. You could get a lot more if you cut it apart. I have, where's that? Look at this. So, this is hand made, hand, I think it's crochet. See that? And um, it's wound up onto this um, lollipop stick. Um, that was my English coming through, lollipop. And um, I guess there's this the string at the end, but it's pretty cool. I like that. I love seeing things where you can totally tell it's handmade, you know. This, I believe, came off of a pillowcase, as did this one, because they're loops. Right there. Um, oh, this is cute. Really cute little ribbon, or uh, rick rack kind of ribbon. This is a little tiny trim. I got two just pretty appliques there. This is a sweet lace. Look at this. It's like got blue, pink, green, I think, yeah, and yellow on it. Super cute. Oh, there's another piece of that one. Um, oh, I thought this was just kind of awesome. I've never seen these before. You see how it's multicolored? Very cute. I have some reasonably ordinary pieces of lace like that one. This is actually, um, I see mining lace there. Um, Let's see what else I have. But I, I also have one little tiny bit of this, which I went ahead and kept because it's really pretty. I have a lot of vintage and even antique pieces coming up here. So this is one of the Valenciennes laces, and um, this looks to be a really, really good quality one. Um, if you look at how tiny the work is there. Love it. Uh, this is definitely vintage. Um, Looks to be quite old. And I actually have quite a big thing of that there. I have this. Oh, and look at this. This is also Valenciennes lace. Look, see how it's like a wave pattern? It is tiny and it is weightless, basically. Gorgeous. That's one of my absolute favorite types of laces. Look at that, too. Um, I think a lot of this came from the same person, and I think she was probably very old. I have, there's some of, there were some pieces that were so dirty, or smelled so foul, I actually did have to get rid of them, and I really tried not to, but um, I have my limits, you know. There's a cute little one there. This is funny and cute. Um, I thought it was a lace, because I've had laces like this before, but it's actually elastic. But hey, I like it anyway. Oh, I love that one. Isn't that pretty? Um, here's another just really cool piece. I had, oh, this is just gorgeous. Look at this. There's an apple, okay? That's beautiful. This is a cuff. Now this is, this is old. This is antique, I'm sure. Again, just absolutely weightless. And then I think from the same dress or blouse or whatever is this. Look at that. It's in pretty good shape, actually. I just think it's just gorgeous. There's a, a break there, but this is, I mean, this is really old. I'm pretty sure that's over 100 years old, that one. Um, that is a cute trim. And this, just this little piece of that. Look at this. This was um, handmade. It came with instructions. Like the person had been working on it. But it's beautifully done. Here's another, some more vintage lace right there. Or antique lace, actually. A, and a funky, um, whatchamacallit, 
doily. See how it's, it's just unusual shape. Uh, let's see what else. I've still got a bit more hair. This is a very, very delicate, tiny, tiny lace. I've had one just like it, um, or very, very similar. This one also. You see how little these are? I mean, that's on my finger right there. This one is so gorgeous. Look at that. I, I love this. It doesn't matter to me that I only have small pieces. I mean, yes, of course, I'd love to have bigger pieces. But as we know, we don't need a lot. For the kinds of crafting, you know, that we do, we don't need huge amounts. That is exquisite. Oh, man. Can you tell I'm really into this? <laughs> this, look at this, just one little piece, but, oh, it's so old and it's so delicate. Um, oh, I actually have oh, probably a, oh over a yard of this. Oh, love it, love it, love it. And this, this is interesting, look. There's um, a button on this, oh, two buttons, still attached to this lace. So it was obviously taken off of something. Again, it's a Valenciennes. I would not be surprised if this was made in France. Um, it's definitely a good quality one. Isn't that gorgeous? There's this one, I'm almost done with these. I have a few more other things. Here's another of those little tiny, super delicate doilies. This one, another really delicate one, which unfortunately has the stain here. I'm going to see if I can do something with that. That one. Oh, that's that wave design again. And this is a sort of a variation on that. <laughs> and, and this, see, it just keeps going. Oh, okay. There's some ordinary laces now. There's that, uh, the double layer with cr white. And then there's that one with the peach and, or pink, pink, and another one with the peach. And then I, I'm going to show you a couple more things too. I also found a dress for him. So I'll just let you see what that one looks like. <coughs> That was in my section, in the crafting section. So I've got that. And then I'm gonna pull a, a little box over. So I had to pause the video there because my dogs went ballistic, as you can hear. If you think they bark a lot for runners, well, that's how they bark for dogs going by. They go absolutely nuts. So I bought this box. Um, I'm not sure what was in it. Long Fiber Craft, it says there, and the number 12. But it's just a really nicely made box. So I got that for a dollar. <laughs> and then I'll just show you some of the little treasures that I found. Isn't that pretty? I just love the frame on that. I thought it was gorgeous. And there's another one, and they are different. Even the frames themselves are slightly different. And I actually, oh wait, maybe they're not. Oh no, never mind, they're not. <laughs> I thought they were. I think I have two more somewhere as well. And I got some pins and pendants and stuff. I thought that was really, really cool with the unicorn on it. And you know, it looks, it looks like it's supposed to open, but, oh, wait, wait. I haven't opened it yet. Oh, it does. It's a spring, so I don't know what you would do with it, though. If you have any ideas of why you would want it to open, just let me know. I thought that was really cool. And, of course, all this is for crafting. It's not for, um, I'm not going to wear any of it. It's just for crafting. I thought that was pretty. And this. And this one. Oops, sorry. Upside down. <laughs> there we go. And these beads I just got because I thought they were pretty. I'll take them off of that thing, obviously. That's cute. And then this, I actually was going to take these apart and just use these as, um, like, stick these on to projects. And my favorite is this one. And it's quite heavy, actually. 
pretty, isn't it? Same both sides. So, um, that's the main things. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is a cute little frame I got because I thought it was darling. And I also got, I'll show you one more thing. I got this little book here. And um, it's just like um, Victorian Valentine's. And what I was thinking was of using some of the images in here. Because like that one, I love. I think that's awesome. So that's that was my idea for this. Basically, I look at everything and I go, how can I cut it up and use it for crafts or give it to other people to use for crafts? So anyway, thanks for watching my awesome rummage sale haul. And um, I'll probably do another one like this next year. <laughs> Unfortunately, that seems to be the only place I ever get good stuff cheap. Oh, look, I just found one more thing. I gotta show you this too because this is pretty cool. This is still attached to the ball of of crochet thread. <laughs> Cute, huh? So thanks for watching. Bye.